All right, welcome back. We've got uh, a bunch of PSA stuff. This is a 73 card order um, from, oh, I don't know. I sent it in, I think it was October. They were, uh, cards were checked in December 15th. And here we are in mid, what, July. So took a while to get done. Um, I will say, <clears throat> Not one of my better efforts on uh, being selective on the cards to, uh, to grade from a quality perspective. You'll see what I'm talking about. Um, some of the cards are, you know, I didn't expect to really get good grades on, um, you know, but then there were a bunch of others that I was just surprised at where they came back. So got to do a little, uh, all right, we're gonna do some learning, right? In this order, we've got um, cards from basically from 73 up through uh, through 90. You can see in here, there's one that, that was a uh, min size issue. Um, the rest of them got graded. Uh, we've got baseball, hockey, basketball. I don't think there's any football in here, but don't uh, crucify me if there is. All right. Time to go. Let's let's run through this. Actually, this will give you an idea of both the variety of the cards and also the variety of the grades you're going to see. We've got Bo Jackson bookending some 90s skybox and uh, random Mickey Mantle Hall of Fame heroes. We've got grades of uh, 888 and a 5 in this one. Um, there are some 4s, so, and there are some 9s. And there might be a 10 in here. You never know. Um, I am going to, I'm going to leave this stuff in here. We'll, 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 the one that we're doing off, yeah, good work. The one that we're doing off camera, we'll take off camera. So these will be a surprise. No particular order these uh, in this reveal. We're going to start with the 1987 Bo Jackson Dunnerus Rookies. In an eight, not uh not terrible. Definitely gonna look at some of these closer, like I said. Um, here's a 87 Dunross, the rookies, Greg Maddox, and a six. Centering looks more or less the same as that Bo Jackson. I'm not sure what happened to for this to get a six. I will take a closer look at that. Okay, sticking with baseball, 1990 Dunross, Juan Gonzalez, reverse negative in a Nierman 7. I think that's warranted, right? If I look at this, you know, the, the corners are a little, uh, little, you know, have little whiting. And, um, you know, the centering's, centering's not bad, actually, for these, but uh, 7. Okay, getting into, I'm gonna go into a, well, a decent sized hockey run. Billy Smith, 1973 tops. I believe this is his rookie. This came back in a 7. Pretty good, pretty good score there. Um, adding that to the Islander uh, rookie, Islander legend rookie card collection. Here's the other one that's going to be added, Dennis Potvin, 1974 tops in an, in an X5. I guess the when you look at the left to right centering, you know, that's probably, and top down, top to bottom, probably warranted along with, you know, corner issues and so forth. Okay. How about a 1985 tops? Chris Chelios, uh, is this his rookie? No, I don't think this is his rookie, but um, thought it was a good example. An eight, okay, not terrible. Hopefully, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna say not terrible a lot. Uh, I'm gonna say terrible, probably a bit. Here's the Mario Lemieux, second year, 1986 tops in a seven, way off center, left to right. Um, you know, if I was looking at this today, no way I would send that in. Certainly goes the same for this 86 tops Lemieux in a five. So it's basically the same centering. I'm guessing there was probably a surface thing going on or who knows, who knows? Oh yeah, actually there's a, there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a crease in there almost. Sort of a bit of a wrinkle. Not sure if you can see that on the camera. I don't think you can. I won't waste more time on that. All right. 
Eric Lindros, 1990, seventh inning sketch OHL in a seven. Ever, ever heard of Deja Vu? There's another one in a seven. Um, Lindros, the second coming of uh, Wayne Gretzky. Didn't quite work out that way. I mean, he was, he was pretty impressive on the ice, though. Just concussions got to him. All right, rolling into a bunch of basketball. We've got Tim Hardaway in 1990 Skybox over there. Here's Tim Hardaway in 1990 Hoops over here in a seven. Um, it's funny, when I was looking at this order, when I got the grades back, uh, here's Tim Hardaway in an eight. I thought Tim Hardaway was in the Hall of Fame, but um, I was clearly wrong on that. Because normally if I'm sending in like cards from late 80s, early 90s, I try to stick to Hall of Fame players. Um, and as I say that, here's a Sean Kemp 1990 Hoops, this one in a nine. Much better than Tim Hardaway. He's not in the Hall of Fame either. Um, but these cards seem to have a market. So here's another nine. Kemp was a beast. Really loved watching him play. And here's an eight. Okay, that's fine. So not a terrible start to the... Uh... Oh, interesting. Okay. Did they? Okay, they screwed... Um... Oh, they, they definitely... I don't know what PSA is doing these days with the certification numbers. They're sending these. It's almost like they just throw these orders together because um, they're way out of order. But okay, here we're going. Some uh, vintage hockey. These were from the childhood collection. Um, and I think condition tells, but it's a Wayne Gretzky 1980 tops in a PSA 4. Um, you know, probably pretty fair. I mean, definitely some print stuff here you know we got the corners the centering stuff like that but all in all ha happy to get i'm not going to say i don't care about the grade but i am happy to get that encased God damn it everything's out of order here's a 1980 ray bork in a four um definitely corner problems more than anything else here um this is such a weird car because i always thought he, he kind of looks like the tin man in the uh um in the Wizard of Oz, like his coloring in this picture is just so odd. So anyway, Ray Bork in a four. So those will end up uh, staying in the personal collection. This one might too, I don't know. This 82 OPG, really tough. Uh, this guy's a five. Um, it's interesting, these cars are kind of moving around a little bit in the, in the, in the, uh, in the slabs, but uh, you know, these things in high grade are getting out of hand. Um, I think this would have been a higher grade, but we've got some, some dimples, some surface issues here that I think you probably can see um, on this one. So Wayne Gretzky, 82 OPG, PSA 5. All right, we'll go over here. We're gonna roll, roll. we got a lot of 90s basketball, unless they screwed up the, the order of the, uh, Submission. Tim Hardaway, 1990 Skybox in a in an eight. Tim Hardaway, 1990 Skybox in an eight. Say it with me. David Robinson, 1990 Skybox. He's a Hall of Famer, so that's good. A 1990 Skybox in a seven. And a 1990 Skybox in an eight. Not sure why I didn't. Why there are no nines here? I mean, it's probably worth a second look. I mean, they're definitely not tens, right? Because they're off center. But okay, now we get into 1990 Fleer with David Robinson, and we start with a banger. Yeah, five. Ugh. I mean, it's, you know, it looks like, actually, a whole bunch of, looks like there's a whole bunch of marks and things on the back. That probably did it in. Okay. So there's a five. We got a few more of these guys, so let's kind of rip through them. There's a nine. That makes me feel a little better. Good. Eight. Okay. Nine. Good. Eight. Okay. Eight, okay. 
I, you know, this, I was, uh, what was I? I was 20 years old when this card came out, but I, I just remember, you know, seeing David Robinson play on the court. I was always, uh, I thought he was, he was just so smooth. Uh, okay, Tim Hardaway, sticking with 1990 Fleer. I, this, I always like the picture on this card. Here's a, here's a nine, and we've got a uh, seven, and we have an eight. Oh, we got one more. And we have a nine. So a couple nines, a seven and an eight on the Hardaways. It's a fun card. I don't know. Cool. All right, I think we're now heading into 80s baseball. Um, not necessarily in order, but there's a bunch of stuff really that goes from, um, I think it's 80 to 86, from what I can tell. Yeah, I think this whole stuff is different versions of 86 stuff. So there's a 1990 Eddie Murray and a 7. Um, again, if we were submitting this today, we would not be submitting this today. This actually looks a lot better than a 7. There's got to be a corner issue that I'm not seeing right away. This is one of the reasons I sent it in. But, uh, okay. 1982, Ricky Henderson. And an 8. Really enjoy that. I, any of the pictures with Henderson in, in action are always some of the coolest uh, cards. 1982 Dunruss, Dwight Evans, one of my favorite players, second only to Wade Boggs, and sometimes he was my favorite player. Um, got an eight on that guy. There's an 82 Dunruss, Dave Winfield, underachieving in a seven. Probably the centering on the left, right, top, bottom is going to get us. We made up for it a little bit with the Ricky Henderson 82 Fleer and a 9. That card doesn't hold a ton of value, but kind of cool having a 9. And then, uh, and just, I don't know, there's something about the A's uniform, the yellow and green that I always love. And I don't know if it's, I, I don't know if it's because I played for Rosin Savings Bank in, in the, uh, in Little League, in the majors in Little League, uh, where we were, uh, we were green and yellow. Um, but you never know. Okay, so now we are in 83 Donruss Hall of Fame Heroes. Here's a Mickey Mantle with an eight. So I can finally say I have a Mickey Mantle card in my collection, a graded Mickey Mantle card in my collection, no less. Oh, look at that, I have a Ted Williams, although we didn't luck out, we didn't uh, come out so well on that one. This, these are beautifully centered, so there's definitely, it looks like there's sort of a, uh, I don't know, like a, like sort of a, I don't want to say a print line, but you might not be able to see it. Kind of something cutting through the through the card, right through the center. That may, again, surface things, is, surface issues are something I have to get a lot better on uh, when it comes to submitting things for grading. Because I think my eye is pretty good around the centering, the corners and whatnot, but I, I definitely miss a bunch of stuff on this on the surface. Hey, and I now have a Satchel Page card in my collection. 1983 Dunruss, Andre Dawson in a nine, the Hawk. So here's a funny story. I was looking up, um, I don't know, I thought maybe somebody had, a, I just saw an, a picture of the Expos logo recently, and I was like, oh, what the hell does that ELK stand for? And um, so here I am. A very, very big baseball fan. Four years, you know, from let's say 77, certainly to the mid 90s, um, you know, when the Expos existed. I had no idea that that was ELB. Les Expos Baseball Club or something like that. So, uh, oh well, anyway. <laughs> 1983 Paul Molitor, PSA 8. Eighty-four. Steve Carlton in a five, a fiver. Again, doesn't look like a five when you're looking at the uh, when I look at this card here from an eye appeal perspective. Uh, there's got to be something going on in the surface that I am not seeing. I will, uh, you know, I get give me a, if if you guys thought that if you, if you guys got value out of the last PSA clunkers video I did. You know, where I took the low-grade cards and did some analysis on them and then did a video on it? Let me know, because I, I'll, I'll, I probably should do that again just to keep honing my skills. Here's an 84 Tops, Pete Rose, and a 7. Okay. 
All right, we're skipping right to 1986, Dunruss. Ricky Henderson in an eight. There's a Ryan Sandberg in an eight. All right, we've got a couple of these Fleer All-Stars from 1986. I love, these are kind of like an insert. I really love them. Tough to grade though, because of the, you know, blue and orange and, you know, uh, I keep saying, you know, the blue and orange borders. We've got a seven here on the Cal Ripken and uh, seven here on the Doc Gooden. Dwight Gooden, excuse me. He was Dwight Gooden in 86. He wasn't Doc Gooden until later in his career. All right, 86 Fleer. Reggie Jackson, six. Definitely the edges are, are not great, but I don't know. I don't think this warrants a six. There's got to be something here to look at further. Here's a Don Sutton in a seven. 86 Fleer. All right, now we get into... I'm guessing cards you have not seen before. Three in a row. Home run legends. 1986. Big League Chew. Ted Williams. There it is. And a seven. I think this is what, you know, I, I, I make, I often make comments and say, you know, people say they get like, you know, hard graders, graders on a bad day. And I think they're full of crap. I think this grade, there's definitely a grader who is having a bad day. Um, because I, again, seven here. Unless there's something on the surface that I am not seeing, these are these should be uh, should be a bit higher. <clears throat> Who the hell knows about this one? Here's a Hank Aaron five. No idea. All right, cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they definitely screw in with the uh, the cert numbers. My God, they really. Blew this up. Here's another Ted Williams in a seven. All right, 1984 Dunross, one of my favorite cards ever, the San Diego Chicken. I didn't fare too well on him with the grading, but I, you know, I see some surface error, surface issues in the top corner there. You can see it. That'll definitely not. It's not going to help. San Diego Chicken. Now, this was the 10th anniversary of the Chicken. And now, he adopted the new name of the famous chicken, which is richly deserved. I have, I have to agree. He was, uh, chicken's a legend. Does he, does he still have the chicken running around the, uh, the games? I don't know. All right. We're getting into some, uh, here, let's go you know, the minimum size one. Let's take that out, see what that was. Oh, actually, I know what it was. I think it was a Reggie Jackson. 1982 Reggie Jackson did not meet the minimum size. So as my friend Nolan from Lead Co. Three says, maybe I'll just I'll send it on my next PSA order if if there's ever one again. It's a beautiful example. I don't know. Maybe it was trim. Maybe that's why. Okay. Compare it to this Bo Jackson. I don't know, man. Must be off by like a millimeter. Okay. Whatevs, as the kids say. Do the kids the kids say whatevs still? Or now, you know, because I say it, you know, it's it's totally out of fashion. All right, 1986 tops traded. I had, uh, I think you'll start, you'll see, I had three sets that I busted up for this order. Bo Jackson, eight, five. I thought I had three. No, I had two. Ugh, eight and a five. Bo, Chris don't know how to grade bows. Or I did actually. I had some success with bows, the prior orders. Canseco, here is the lone 10 in the order. Jose Canseco, 86 tops traded. These, I, I'm shocked. I mean, these are, I don't know. This one's a 10, but this one's an eight. What the hell? 
I mean, I definitely see a bunch of edgeware here, so okay, I can buy that. Well, that's exciting. We got a 10. And here are a couple of Barry Bonds. Eight and a nine. Okay. Not too bad on the 86 traded. Now we're gonna get into a lot of, uh, I think the rest might, might be 86 tops baseball. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why this was in this order. Um, I mean, I, I'm a Harold, I like Harold Reynolds and all, and he's a good analyst. He was a very good second baseman. Um, I think I just thought that this had a chance at a 10. And now looking at it again, I mean, there's some print things going on down at the bottom, and I see some edge wear here. So I'm not really sure what I was looking at, but Harold Reynolds in an eight. Pete Rose, the gambler, in a seven. Um, Definitely the, those black borders, so tough. And then it bitten again by the black borders. Here's a Kirby Puckett. Uh, there's a lot of Kirby Puckett fans around that would like to have this card and they will get their opportunity when I put it up on auction for eBay. There's a Ricky Henderson, seven and a six. I thought these were in much better. I was expecting more. Again, when I look at the edges, when you see the edges in the slab, they're definitely, you know, they definitely have, uh, they have their issues. So, I don't know. I feel like one, it should have been an eight and a seven rather than a seven and a six. I think, again, this greater, in a bad mood. Here's Clemens, 86 tops, his, uh, what is it, second year, and an eight. Cal Ripken, seven. Rod Carew. Five blew this one, Jesus. Um, yeah, surface, surface, definitely not helping me. So as you looked at this, I mean the you know the the eye appeal, it's pretty nice, but uh, there is a couple of surface dings that I missed. Okay, second to last card, Reggie Jackson in an eight, and the last card, Reggie Jackson in a five. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the... God damn. Okay. At least, you know, I'm, I'm learning a lot. I mean, unfortunately, I've got... You can see you can see the almost like a little slight wrinkle there, right? Um, I am learning a lot. Unfortunately, I got like 700 cards of PSA, so, uh, you know, learning all this stuff. Um, I'm not going to say too late, but definitely later than would be ideal. So, hopefully... Y'all enjoyed that reveal, and um, I look forward to uh, more reveals in the future, but I only have one order in grading, and who knows how long that'll take to come back. So, you know, hopefully you guys like the hater and some of the mail days. I will uh, catch up with you soon.